And moving into the street of London now, let's bring in Juliana Olainka. Good morning, Juliana. Well, let's begin with an update on the Prime Minister's health. Uh, how is he doing at the moment? Well, there were dramatic events in London uh, last night. I kid you not, this is a very serious, serious story, um, a global um, story, because, of course, Prime Minister Boris Johnson is the leader of the G7 um, nation. Uh, what we know uh, so far is that um, he's still in intensive care. The last time uh, we saw him was on uh, Thursday evening when he did... Um, a clap for heroes. He didn't look uh, well at all. Of course, his health has deteriorated further. And we know now um, that he was indeed given oxygen uh, to breathe. He isn't yet on a ventilator, but he does um, have a ventilator um, in his room. And it's a very serious condition. Hmm. OK, it's interesting to know that um, the cost of petrol in the UK is nearing uh, one pound a litre for the first time since 2016. Why so? Well, it's because, of course, um, the oil prices have been so low recently, especially because of uh, the oil spat between Russia and Saudi Arabia. In January, uh, Brent crude, which is typically the benchmark uh, price for oil, that was trading at about $60 uh, a barrel. Um, just a couple of weeks ago, it hit um, the low mark of $30 a barrel. Uh, typically with petrol in the UK, it is uh, governed by a wholesale market, and the wholesale market doesn't really drip down into the petrol tank, but it has because uh, there's been such a huge um, reduction, which is why we're seeing these record low prices. It's just a shame that, of course, most people can't take advantage um, of it. Uh, but uh, uh, the place where it's really um, hitting the petrol tank at the lowest is in supermarkets, where typically it is more competitive anyway. Um, and uh, yes, so in some places you can get um, a, a litre for a pound. And in Copper News, Waitress has reversed a policy where workers self-isolating because of their family had to make up their hours owned uh, at a later day. Any idea why the change of mind? Well, you know, uh, staff are definitely not happy uh, with Waitrose's decision, especially because just last week they announced that they would be giving uh, their staff members who've worked through uh, this crisis an extra £200 a bonus and, and what it is is that they've they've told any of their staff members that if you are self isolating and you're off um you need to um deliver a sick note from your gp um or you need to uh, pay back that time and uh, waitrose staff have uh, released uh, this information to the press they're not happy about it uh, waitrose released a statement saying that that's their policy uh, but one of the reasons why staff are not happy is because um, waitrose is owned by john lewis and all of john lewis's uh, 1500 staff um, they have been uh, given this uh, furlough scheme which the government is backing uh, which means they will be receiving up to 80 percent of their pay um, with no questions asked and uh, you know waitress staff are wondering just why um, they're being asked um, to do this particularly as a lot of people will be worried and if you're worried about losing your job or not getting paid you may come back in with your symptoms um, even though uh, you know you're not fully healthy so not not a great news day for waitrose all right, thank you very much, um, Juliana we hope to get more updates from you later in the day and we wish the Prime Minister quick recovery